Hello, fellow Bubble developers. Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement a forget password so that your users can go reset their password when they forget it. Uh, but first, before I get to the demo, uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like these videos and subscribe to my channel so you get notified for upcoming videos. All right, so let's jump into the demo here. So for forget password, I have a pop up and you're probably familiar. You enter in an email. Now, in this design here, I actually have two approaches for resetting the password. The first one that I'll walk through in this video uh, goes with a standard approach. And by standard, I mean Bubble has out of the box um, design already and it has a page set up for doing the reset of a password. And in a subsequent video, I'm going to show you a more customized way of implementing the password reset. Now for this one, I've actually already got a password um, email sent. And right here, this is basically Bubble's standard template for, for wording uh, for doing a password reset. And what I'm gonna do now is come over here All right, so this is again Bubble's standard template for doing a password reset. And I'm just going to go in and type in reset. Now, this here is not standard as part of Bubble's reset. So I've added a pop up here to go to a home page here. And I'll click on it. And you'll see I'm already logged in for, for this particular account. And so let's at this point jump into the design. I'm going to close some of these windows. Okay, so for this design, we start off with a text field here. So te text forget password. And if you're not familiar with the text element, simply right over here under visual elements, just like that. And then I just typed in forget. It looks like Siri is trying to copy here. I didn't get that. <laughs> you gotta love Siri, folks. Okay, so for this, start in Edit Workflow. And for this workflow, it's fairly simple. It's just going to open up a pop-up. And if you're not familiar with that, uh, so Element Actions, and then Show, and then the pop-up, and the name of this pop-up pop is Reset uh, Password Request. Now let's jump over to that part of the design. So Reset password request. So here is the pop up. And on here, I've got again, a simple text field for a reset forgotten password. Let me jump to the text editor here real quick. So for this, I've just color coded it. If you're not familiar with the color coding, you just come to this little icon here. And I just changed that to blue. I've also centered it the default value is over to the left. And then I have this input field here, input, enter your email. And uh, this is a fairly straightforward element as well. Let me just jump over to input. So input right here. And I'll just put that on here. And the default value is type here. The one thing you want to make sure is that the default is text for the format and you want to change that to email. So that's a, a critical uh, format that you want to update. The other thing I, I put on here, if you look real quick, is I have enter clicked and input uh, not empty. And so if you come over here, just simply clicking on those. The reason uh, why I chose these um, for enter, I, I wanted the user to really be forced into uh, hitting a button. Uh, part of the reason also is because I do have two choices on here, the standard, which I'm going through in this design, and then a custom approach for doing reset, which I'll have in a subsequent design. The next thing is the input should not be empty. So basically, you don't want your user to hit these buttons and then not have an email address in here at, as, at all. Okay, so then we have these buttons, standard and custom. And so for button, if you're not familiar, it's uh, right up here under visual elements button like that and then type in this one was standard and 
And then what I have over here is I do have a conditional. I do like to put these condition, conditionals in. And basically when the button is hovered, it changes the background color. So to do that, it's basically define another condition. And then when this button is, is hovered, and then select a property to change, and scroll down here to background color, and I just simply chose this green here. And so that's how you set that up. And now to get to, let me remove that, get to the workflow. Okay, so the workflow for this, the first step is to send the password reset email. So again, this is standard bubble here, this wording and so forth. I didn't make any changes to it in this design. You certainly can customize it however you would like. And uh, actually, now that I'm looking at this, um, it doesn't even allow you to really change much of it in the text editor. So right here, the enter email. So this is simply input, enter your email value. So this here is this input, enter your email. And that's the email to reset, which makes sense, right? Because you want to send the email to the user who needs their password reset. The next thing I do is I hide the pop-up. And then I reset the uh, pop-up, uh, the data in the pop-up. The reason why I do that is so that when the user, uh, if they type in something here and they close it, I want to make sure that that is all cleared out. It's just a style and user experience. So let me walk through these actions here, these steps. And so for the first one, it is send, send reset here. So account and then send password reset email here. So as you can see, a lot of this is standard. And then for the input, uh, I can type in a couple of words here and then enter your email and then value. And that's how you set up that step and then the next one is the hide pop-up and so that's under element actions hide and then the pop-up is pop-up reset password and you'll see here it's kind of nice that bubble shows shows the image of what pop-up i've got multiple pop-ups on this page so it's it's nice that bubble does that and then the last one is reset the um, the data, so that's also under element actions, and then it's under group, reset to data, and the pop-up again. All right, so that is all there is to this design. Um, and just to close it out here, uh, we have the close button, which is basically, where is the close button right here? Hide the pop-up, and then reset the, uh, the data. So it's the same uh, steps that I just showed you um, for submitting the email. It's just uh, hiding the pop-up and resetting the data. So again, let's just kind of go through this. It's gonna refresh here. So for get password and then contact at lakeTech.com. Now, in the event that I don't have, if I don't have the account in here and I click this, oh, it actually did send it. So um, that's the standard bubble. When I get to the uh, alternate design for this, when I get to the custom design in the next video, I am going to show you that if you type in a email address that is not in your app's database, um, that it will not send an email, it will not uh, move forward into the workflow. So I will get to that in the next design. Again, if, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video when I walk through the custom design. Thanks.